Hi guys, in this session, I'll be taking you through how to come up with a restaurant management system. That is, you can sell beverage, food, and other meals using this system. And um, on the other hand, in case you are doing some computation, you can cross-check or use this calculator to actually do some calculations just to verify whether the values that are here are actually correct. I will take you through how to create this part, the selling part, that is the restaurant part. I will not tackle the calculator. You can just watch the video. There is a link below this video giving you a link on how to do the calculator using Microsoft Access. I have already done that. Therefore, guys, uh, just consider watching how to come up with this calculator. Therefore, I re basically focus on this. And therefore, this one, in case I want to cross this one, I'm in a position to get a, a dialog box. If I click no, I am retained here. But when I click on yes, then the form will be crossed. I can also enable or disable the ribbon. Therefore, you can see now I have enabled the ribbon, disable the ribbon. Therefore, enable and disable the ribbon. Therefore, this is disable. This is enable the ribbon. You can also add new cells from here. You can read. You can save record. And um, once you, you add, like if I add some meals here, the ones that have been taken that is by this customer. Now, once I hit on costing, uh, you see everything is actually calculated. That is including the total subtotal tax ETC. And then you can just hit on add sales and then you can be positioned to do that. Therefore, guys, let me take you through how to come up with such a, a system. Therefore, you need to, to come up with a table, go to create, then go to design. Then from this point, you can just um, do your table. Therefore, you shall have tea, you shall have coffee, you shall have lemon, orange, you shall have uh, Coca-Cola, and beer. Then you can have fish, beef, you can have pork. And also, you can have mutton and um, can have ugari, ugari and chips. Therefore, those are the meals that we are selling. Then you can have a sub total. You can also have our total. You can also have our tax. Therefore, this one will be currency. Currency, currency, currency. All the others remains that way. And then from there, we can just have a, a save our table. If we can just save our table. Our table, we can just call it the meals. Then, no, we don't need a primary key. But we may just have a serial number. Yes, autumn number. Let's just have it for the sake of integrity of this table. Then from there, uh, you need now to come up with a table uh, with a form. Around me use this calculator here. This one, because I will not actually be doing the calculator. Remember to watch the video on how to come up with a calculator. I have a very well elaborated video on that. Therefore, let's go straight to the restaurant part and therefore you can just take this one uh, to this point then go to format shape then do that one you can give it some color then just go to design go to properties uh, this you choose form here then after choosing on form uh, we are going to or then choose our source of data meals then go to add existing 
therefore you shall have uh, two categories here you shall have uh, drinks drinks there yeah. Shall have our drinks it's going to be tin can copy can copy this copy paste then this one you shall have the meals here this is, this is food food foods food food and drinks on the other hand therefore just arrange the drinks here we have tea we have coffee half lemon half coca cola half beer those are the drinks then we have we have the meals the foods we have fish we have beef pork mutton gari chips then we can now just rearrange this one to make it smart just arrange this one that way then this one you can just bring it up to that part that way then you do the same with this one we are arranging this that way then these ones you can just pull them up to that point that way then uh, you can just now have this one uh, formatted but these parts the ribbons should be right around that way therefore this is how my form looks like then you can just go to this part here and include my subtotal then can include my total there my total then my tax that way then you can also format this one just like you have done to the others and that's good then you can also go back to our table this is our meals and then add um, you can just have uh, total drinks drinks can also have total meals and have those two buttons then go back to our restaurant then we shall have the we have total drinks and total meals here if i can just have those two of drinks then you can also have uh, the total cost of food
Look at that. I'm going to also cut out this. The force system may, might uh, can look like this. that way yeah good at least now uh, we have the totals or computations down there then you can use this part for navigation buttons therefore you can just go and draw our navigation button if we can just have our our button there that is for cross just go to this point enable the control wizard so that you can have form operations cross of this is cross form you can just call it button cross finish then you can also draw another one that is record add new that one remains that way button add new finish then you can have a button here we need to have a button for a button for enable enable and disable ribbon for this one is enable ribbon and this one is disable ribbon If I can have those buttons for enable and disable ribbon, then you can also format this one's format to the same. Make sure they are in the in the in a good way. Then uh, we can proceed to coding this. Let's start with this one. Just go to. Uh, Proper uh, that is this point event. This one is uh, enable ribbon. Then we can just have it as button enable. Save it. This one can be button disable. Then this one is add new. This is cross. Therefore, we start with enable ribbon. If we just go to event then hit the button and therefore we are concentrating with this point and therefore we just say do command dot show turba then the turba name the turba name is ribbon ribbon and then you proceed we want to to display it therefore to hide just copy this one but change yes to no and therefore it just copy this code then save cross this one go to disable button event i hit these three dots that is for disable so it should be disable no then from there, you can just see how whether it's working, enable ribbon, 
Yeah, this one is disable ribbon, enable ribbon. That's why you can see they are working. We have the that way. If in the case you want to fill and if I want the ribbon, then I can uh, have it back. Then then from there, and that one is working. Then from there, we can just go and uh, make sure. Now, if I enter some text here, you see the system is actually accepting. I want a solution whereby if I enter something that is not number, the system automatically clears that for me. And therefore, you just go to design view. Then we start with this button. Then go to event. Then after update. Then after update. Now you need to uh, write this code. That is, uh, if not, you need to write this. If not, is numeric, then the field that is t dot value, then t is equals to blank. That means that um, uh, if that field is uh, given some something that is not a number, then it will automatically clear that one off. Therefore, we shall just copy this one, this code. First of all, we can just try to remove these ones. Remove these codes that were actually existing here. So that we can just have our own codes from scratch. Yeah, that way, the first code now, the sun should, sun should be working. Press record the enable. That is the enable event. First of all, we code that one. We just say do command dot show ribbon show toolbar. Then our toolbar name is ribbon. Then uh, show yes. The other one should be show no. The other one is uh, show yes. The other one is uh, no, that is that way. Therefore, uh, we need to just do that one. Just go to sign in, view, then launch. Enable. We are good, it's working. Therefore, now let's go to this part. Go to design view, we start with the T, go to after update, then we hit this one. Then we shall write that if. You write that uh, if not is numeric, then the field, the field is t dot value dot value across the bracket, then t equals to empty. It clears that of and if. Then you shall now copy this one. Then let's go and see. Now this this one should be. Just check the name of the field. That one is T. This is after update. So first, go to the other one, coffee. Go to coffee after update. Paste that code and therefore change this one to, to coffee. So this one to coffee. Then go ahead and do the same to for Ramon. You paste that one, change this one to Ramon. Then 
but therefore guys allow me to uh, do this if that one is not in numeric and therefore what happens if you type if you type something that is not text you see now the system clear clears automatically you see now the system automatically clears that one because it is not actually uh, text and therefore it is also very important for us to note that and uh, that one is now done the next thing is to code on this by help of a button we shall add a button called cost if i just go to this point here uh, take a button then we add a button here we can create cost costing therefore this is the button when you hit this button it will compute these ones and if we just go to all we can just call it button costing that way if I just go to event, then on click, I hit the, uh, that button. Then I can now start typing here. And therefore, uh, first of all, we shall just go to this part. The uppermost part, just go to option compare database. Then option explicit then we shall declare an array dim m of 25 characters shall have 25 or we can just have 20 and have even 16 of size 16 of type double for these are our meals that's just a comment then wow, wow, wow. therefore the rest just use apostrophe that one is well understood therefore we have just declared an array of size 16 of type double and then we shall now uh, use that one to do our computing and therefore we just write half m we start for arrays from zero therefore m zero now this one equals to uh, t then you can copy this one then just edit okay and therefore this one will be coffee this one will be ramen This one will be beer. This one will be orange. Then we have one. This is our second one. This is our third one. This is our fourth one. Then we can have now the the other one, therefore, we shall also have the mm, total for, for this one. Therefore, you can just have five. Therefore, the five is total for this one. So, therefore, we shall have m zero, m zero plus m one. Trans, trans. This is M two. Trans. This is M three. Trans M four. M four. If I can just uh, say this is total for drinks. That is total for drinks, and therefore our our t drinks will be equal to m five. Then you can now go for the meals. You can just copy this. 
copy down here paste then you shall now have this is our six this is seven eight nine and ten so for this one it will be our mark one this one will be our pork this one will be chips this one will be ugari this one will be fish then you can add one for beef and the raven equals to beef and therefore i can also still have the total for, for the total like this one the total for for food or meals if i can just have our number 12 for this one becomes six plus seven plus eight plus nine plus uh, nine ten then we shall have plus m raven then this is total for meals just call it food that way and therefore for that case we shall have our total meals equals to m12 that way and then from here we can just then have our total our total equals to m12 plus m then plus m5 yeah plus m5 now for our total it will be like that then from this point we can still compute our tax I can just say that uh, our tax our tax because we can give m13 and then just go up, up there and compute our total and just say that uh, m13 which is our tax m13 equals to to total equals to the addition of m13 plus m12 no m5 f m5 that is should be total of m12 and m5 that will multiplied by our percent right 16 percent vap vat that one can be that way and therefore that is that is our this is this this should be our subtotal our subtotal so that our total should be tax plus subtotal our total should be m13 m13 plus plus m12 plus m12 plus m5 that way therefore basically what we are doing we are just referencing that this one is t this one then so that we can have an ec uh, that is an ec calculations then we can multiply these ones that is the number of meals taken multiplied by the price and therefore the price you can assign the price this one can be a hundred this one can be something like uh, 150 Raymond can be 89 Bob time is 56 this one can be time is 45 this one can be time is 123 then for the meat it's a bit expensive this is 200 chips 100 bob ugari 89 let's say 56 bob per plate fish 300 
beef 500 per kg. Therefore, you see what I have done. I have uh, broken down, uh, broken down the coding for easy understanding. And therefore, you can look at it the way I have simplified it, though I have used arrays. And therefore, I can just go to this point here and then try to do one. Like now, let's assume this has taken two, one, this has taken three, two plates, two bottles of beer, one fish, one kg. After doing that, everything seems all right. Therefore, I just need to hit view and then add record. Therefore, if we just now fill the records here, we'll see if you type something, it will be cleared since it's not a number. Therefore, I just need to hit costing that way, then everything else is calculated. And therefore, you can see now uh, my system is working fine. That means when I go to this one, you see, see guys that everything is working fine. You've been in a position to see uh, everything has been calculated for you and also fed inside the, the tables accordingly. Therefore, this is how you can do it. And in case you need to verify if you know the prices, then you can just use the calculator here. You can just use the, the calculator when it is uh, actually working to be in a position to see everything uh, that uh, uh, is actually done there. If I just need to have, like you can just confirm from the calculator. For this one, I have deleted the code for the calculator, but you can actually see it's working. If I can just do whatever I need, and then I can have this one verified from, from the restaurant management system. Remember, you can get this program for free from my website, hidon.co.ke. You can and not even, I will also make sure that the, the source code, these ones are available for you so that you can practice and enjoy uh, having the skill on how to calculate, to make a restaurant system, how to make even this calculator part, these ones here. If that's how you come up with a, a restaurant management system uh, for your uh, hotel, for your shop, and then you can be in a position to save your work in a Microsoft uh, Access database. And therefore, thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep on checking for what's new on my channel. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, and also share my videos with your friends. Therefore, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. See you in the next session.